Uh, in this video, I'll show a little more direct application, uh, especially of uh, rectangular cross section and uh, an edit poly, and then a little bit of, a, of unwrap uh, on these things. So Ryan had this uh, seat uh, uh, project that he's doing in studio, and you know, my my recreation is not is not entirely accurate, but it it uh, is is fairly close. And so he had these bands, these straps running around these posts uh, that would be running through them through along these you know, places uh, here, 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 and here. Uh, and then this nylon strap that wraps around, weaves its way, and it twists as it comes across part of it. So, which is, a, which is kind of tricky business. So you, you could do this all with one spline that's like this, that, that you just, you offset uh, the verts. And, oops, sorry, I don't need to be in, in that mode. I need to have this one selected and be in that mode. Um, you know, and say offset some of these uh, from each other to get them to um, act as, as the bend and you know, and these guys may be you know, over let's see, let's see, I may put them like that and this one out even more or move these even more and let those be where they are and then I could move them individually to you really uh, help them line up, but um, I want to do all that and show you how I made it. Make sure I go all the way back out. Yep. Oop. Get out of vert mode there. And you'll see that uh, these things. If I look at these uh, individually, let me turn that yeah F4 on. You see, it, this is a um, it's a repeating pattern. But it it started off as as a line. So let me um, let me let me hide everything else um, uh, here and turn these off. And you'll see that this line is actually contiguous. You know, it, it wraps all the way around. Um, and is a uh, you know, if we if we set it to uh, to just be that you'll see it it does that and essentially <clears throat> if we look at it from the end here all I did was move these verts out to get that to get that uh, offset uh, for it it's not entirely accurate but it's it's uh, pretty close um, and then. So with the navel and viewport turned on, you know, and my I've set made the settings here on the rectangular cross section, uh, and then uh, to get the twist uh, in it, I put on an edit poly modifier uh, in it, and the the way that worked was um, here. Let me um, get one of the others <coughs> and um, open it open it up, and let's see. Or here, I can just do it with this one that way. If, if I blow anything up, um, um, you'll see what I'm talking about. So what I'm going to do is uh, delete those two modifiers uh, and then reapply and edit poly. Uh, the way I made these twist was to, uh, at the polygon level, come in and detach uh, this section of it. So I'm just going to detach it uh, and then select it and you can see that it's, it's detached uh, and I needed to add more geometry to it so I'm going to go here at, at the edge level and just select all those and then come down to connect and bring up the dialog for it and just tell it I wanted you know, more segments and you can see it's adding however many I press here and I think I just added 16. Uh, into it, <clears throat> which is more than enough to give me the twist, um, and then said OK uh, with it. And you'll note that this it inherited the um, if we get out of the it inherited the center point of the of the whole spline. So I needed to do a little bit of uh, manipulation with that. So I came over to the hierarchy and. Um, affect the pivot point only and I centered it 
uh, to the object. I tried to get it to align to the object because the, the object is already set for you know, the way it is that you know it's not going to do that so I had to manually do that so I'm going to just get my uh, rotate tool and take a look at it uh, here in, in the uh, side view and just rotate that down until it is uh, here let me turn on yeah make sure angle snaps is on and rotate it down until it's parallel with that it does not have to be exact but you try to get it as close as you can um, and then get out of that uh, mode so now if I go to local uh, mode uh, with this you'll see that um, you know I can rotate it in in its local axis uh, here rather than say in world or view where it's going to rotate you know, like that um, and then the uh, other uh, thing I want to do next is oh, let's get back in perspective uh, here is a go is go to the uh, modifier or put a put a twist modifier uh, on this thing so I'm going to right click and look for my twist uh, modifier over here in the in this and if you if there's a modifier you want to use it's not in here I haven't put them all in here but but I've put most of the ones I find useful uh, in here uh, if, if you ever need a, a different modifier just go to the modifier panel and click the little button for the drop down and you can go down and you can look for whichever one and you can if you know what it starts with in my case T I can press T to go down all the way to the T's and just put the twist modifier on it again I'm going to need to do a little bit of alteration so because you see if I try to change the angle of the twist it's going to do all kinds of weirdness or if I even if I'm twist I need to twist around the X in this case if you look very carefully uh, here or or the Y I think maybe uh, and yeah you see it's yeah, it's going to do still you know, no matter what I do it's not going to be the, the right thing yeah it's X um, so what I need to do is change the gizmo uh, for this so I'm going to make sure the gizmo is selected again go back to my side view and rotate it so that make sure the gizmo is selected and rotate it so that it is parallel there with with the, the length of the object um, now I can go back up to my twist and should be able to um, twist this thing 180 degrees uh, here so I'm just gonna back out of that see if I can hit it there we go uh, and you note that it kind of stood its own it on its end but that's okay uh, what I want to do um, uh, now is uh, come back out from from the gizmo and and then just rotate this thing um, oop, and again make sure I'm in local uh, 